What is up everybody, today I am uploading a video, a new video, a new type of video. As you see here, you are seeing an image of my profile picture and the new episode of what it's going to be called now. And it's called On The Way, so let me tell you a quick description of what On The Way, WD Collector 7 On The Way is. On The Way is, um, I will be doing this, uh, kind of series where I do, uh, like... Like, um, stuff about, like, what new figures are coming out. And, yeah, and when I do an on-the-way episode, you will be seeing new figures that come out. So, every time I do an on-the-way episode, I'll just talk about the new figures that are coming out and new, like, during Ringside Fest stuff, you know? Because that's, you all want to know what's coming out. And you guys probably know by now, but some of you guys don't, so, yeah. But uh, let's get right into the first picture that we want to look at today. So, yeah, let's go look at that. Watch it, let's talk about it. The we want let's talk about Battle Packs forty six, which I will show you guys. Oh crap, wrong one. Uh, I will show you guys in a bit. Hold on, let me see if I have an image for it. All right, guys, I didn't I didn't have an image, but although I will be showing some pictures right now, so yeah, let me show you some pictures of the figures that are coming out, and yeah, and actually let me show you one right now. Okay, guys, you just you guys just saw a uh like a ten second pick or something like that of uh the models of the Enzo or not Enzo the Luke Gals and Carl Anderson battle pack. As you know, they aren't painted yet, but they might be their debut outfit, the white outfit. So um yeah uh so that might be it. What's gonna be the one because like. Mattel isn't that good at sticking up with the figures that are coming out, you know. They're not good with catching up, but, you know, they try. But, you know, they have a lot of work, you know. And I don't judge them. They had to make a lot of AJ Styles, that's for sure. And a lot of Finn Balors. And just remember, just imagine how hard they work. And, you know, you can't really judge them or blame them for being late, uh, like, on not on time. Because, you know, it takes a lot of work. And, you know, a lot of planning to see what the detail is going to look like and how it's going to look like. And, you know, they gotta, they've got to sculpt it first. So, yeah, let me show you another, a bunch of other images of the other figures that are coming. So, yeah, well, we talked about the Blue Gauzas. Now, let me show you the other battle pack that's coming out. And, yeah. Okay, guys, you guys just saw an image of the sculpted or modeled um, Miz and Maurice Battle Pack. Of course, they are not painted yet, but, you know, whatever. And, yeah, so, I mean, really, let's go look at that real quick. Hold on. Now these now these figures kind of look oh cool. I mean we get we get finally after like a long time they have already made a Maurice figure which I will show you in a bit if you guys want to look at that but yeah. They've made a Maurice figure already so I'll show that in a bit but um yeah and then we got another Miz which is uh, uh something not really new. Uh, I don't know if this is a new head scan this might be but we're finally getting an updated Maurice at least that's cool. But yeah, let me show you the Maurice figure real quick. Okay, guys, here is the figure. Sorry for the blurry image, but I couldn't find another one. So, yeah, this is how the Maurice figure... This is the first time on the line. Well, not really. They made a Jack-specific figure, but I'm not going to show it because it kind of looks like a stripper. So, yeah, for the kids that watch my videos, I don't want to show you something like that, but... Yeah, this is the Maurice figure that came out um, uh, around like 2011 or something like that, 2009. I don't know, but uh, this is from some series I don't really know. So yeah, this is how the Maurice figure looked. The first ever Mattel one, at least. They never made an Elite, but yeah, they made one like this, the basic. So yeah, let's zoom in if we can. Yeah, you can't really see that, so whatever. But let's move on to the next thing. Or the next battle pack, if I think we have one. 
Alright guys, the next battle pack, there is no real image for the figure, so I don't know what it is, but it is based on the Shane McMahon, and uh, it's like a Shane Mc... So let's just talk about him right now. It's um a Shane McMahon and Dean Ambrose battle pack, which uh, doesn't make sense at all. I mean, yeah, it was okay because Shane was rooting on Ambrose because he was supposed to... Def he was depending, or depending on him to win the championship for SmackDown, and so that makes sense and all, but like... Well, at least we're getting another Shane figure, right? We will be talking about that in a bit, because you guys have said, because I just said something that sounded like we're getting more than two, or more than one, is what I meant to say, so yeah. But yeah, we are getting a Shane McMahon and Miz fig an Ambrose figure, and an image is probably going to pop up somewhere around here, and here. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to show that, but I don't know. It's just a little segment of them on SmackDown. I just needed to show you guys for the people who don't know who Shane McMahon is. And if you don't, then you might as well watch some WWE from a long time ago or at least watch some of 2016 because Shane McMahon was around. And, yeah, if you don't you know Shane McMahon, you, he was the one on the left, the old one. And, yeah. But now the next battle pack is the New Day, except Biggie is not in this one, so he will be coming out as a single basic figure, I guess, is what they're going to do. Because this battle pack is only Xavier and Kofi Kingston, and Kofi Kingston has been in every battle pack there has been of the New Day. And he's been in every one of the battle packs, and yeah, so I don't know, maybe next time it might be Biggie and Xavier and Kofi will come out singly or something like that, but yeah. And so we are getting um elites, I think of that. No, 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 no. We're getting basic battle packs, and I am probably predicting um some outfits that might show up here. Hold on, let me go show you the outfits that I think will show up. Now this is a ba battle packs one that I'm hoping they're gonna make, which I probably highly don't. I highly doubt that they are making, but I wish they. I hope. They are making this battle pack instead because um, this was last year's Summer's, SummerSlam outfit. And I'm hoping they make an outfit out of this or out of these guys. I'm probably, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to make an outfit out of these guys because they haven't made this outfit yet. And it's kind of outdated now, like two years outdated since they wore this. I think first time at WrestleMania. So yeah, um, they're probably going to be making this outfit. Or this outfit. I don't know which outfit they're making this time. It could be just another re-release or something. But I'm probably I'm gonna stay with this one. I'm thinking they're gonna make this one. Yeah, I'm thinking they're making this one. I I know it's probably incorrect, but yeah. So I don't know which outfit they'll be making, but something like that. Okay. Whoops. Okay, guys, now let's talk about the elites that are now coming out, and let's talk about Elite 49, which is, I'm going to show you a quick image of what that is, and then we'll talk about each and every one of them, so here we go. Now, the first figure I actually want to talk about is the Elite Becky Lynch that is coming out. And, yeah, we got a look at this last year, I think, when Becky Lynch was at a, I think it was, like, WrestleCon or something like that. And she got to look at her figure, her own, she got one of these, except it wasn't, like, painted and all. It was just sculpted. It was all gray and everything. She didn't get, like, painted like this. She got her figure, as in, she got the first sculpted, basically, so... I mean, not that they sell the sculpted versions of them, because that would be pretty weird. And those would be on the shelf forever, and never be bought in, unless there's people who are planning to paint those in, or something like that. But yeah, so, she got, uh, Becky Lynch got to hold the figure first, and sculpted, and yeah. She doesn't, obviously, get the first Mattel. She might, might not, but it's up to Mattel. But as you know here, she comes with a hat, um, I think she comes with goggles, I don't know where that at. And she comes with her entrance jacket, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people are probably going to want this. we already seen a Becky Lynch basic figure uh, on basic 60, or no, something like that. Basic 70, I think it was, or something like that. I don't know. Um, but we got a basic Becky already, so 
Um, yeah, uh, what, we're now getting an Elite, which will probably sell much better than the Basic did. You know, the Basic's a little cheaper, but it's okay, because we are now getting an Elite. And I remember this outfit from Royal Rumble 2016, so I don't know what, when she wore this first, but it might be the Royal Rumble. So, yeah, um, let's talk about the next one. And the next figure that is in this set is the Apollo Crews, which is neat. We already are getting a basic out of this, but I highly disagree, or I highly doubt that a lot of people are going to buy that one. So, yeah, uh, we are getting an Elite, which is much better than a basic, as we all know that. Unless there's some people who like basics better than Elites. I don't know who them people are, but whoever you are, I'm just kidding. I was about to say something, but no, I don't want to. I don't want to offend anyone, so yeah. We're getting an Elite Apollo Crews in this set, and he comes with two t-shirts, which I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, well, let's talk about this. This figure is going to be coming with two plastic shirts, the shirts that everybody hates, unless you're them people that like them shirts, which I don't. I don't like them. I don't even fasten them. I just take them off and leave them off because I'm not going to be bothering around uh, fastening them. And sometimes I keep them on my figures, sometimes I don't. But yeah. And, um, pretty much, yeah, so let's move on to the next figure, which is gonna be probably better than this figure, but, yeah, let's go look. Now, the next figure, we obviously don't have a clear image of the figure, but we have the Elite, and this was a, pic t a picture taken by somebody from, uh, Ringside Fest, and this is the Elite Big Cast that comes with the necklace and two plastic shirts, just like Apollo Crews. Which I forgot to show you an image of, so let me show you that real quick before we get back to the before we keep talking about this figure. Basically, okay, guys, here is the image of the figures. This is just a pick off Instagram uh, off Ringside on Instagram on my Instagram, I mean. And guys, go follow Ringside on Instagram if you want. But yeah, these are the two shirts that they come with, or that he comes with an NXT shirt and his uh, Apollo Crew shirt. As you see, there are the shirts that nobody really likes. The ones that you have to fasten from the side. But, yeah, so, um, that's the shirts. And let's let's go talk about Big Cast now. Now, I actually wanted to show something real quick. Uh, Big Cast as well does come with two shirts as well. Here are the two shirts. Um, yeah. It's the How You Doing shirt and the SAW F. Uh, whatever soft shirt and um, that's obviously not soft that's rubber but whatever that was stupid um, yeah so as you get it um, right here you get a Enzo Amore and then here's the back of the shirts I mean when I, that's what I meant and yeah um, we obviously don't have images of the Enzo Amore figure yet because nobody knows how that looks and it takes a long time for Mattel to make like the de the designs and the designs must be pretty good looking. So I don't judge them for what it's going to be. But it must be great. That's why they're probably taking a long time to show the act how the figure looks. But yeah, let's move on to the next um, figure. Hold on, crap. What did I just do? Sorry, my bad. The next figure, which was taken by another fan of the figures, of course, obviously, is the Legend Killer Flashback Randy Orton, and a lot of people have event. Well, at least this is what Ringside said. The a lot of people have been requesting, and there's my friend on Instagram. But yeah, sorry about the bad word that I just said on there for my fans. I'll try to block that. I'll try to blur that. But yeah. Uh, so as you know here, we have um. A Randy Orton flashback legend killer um, figure. He comes with a cloth shirt, and that's all he really comes with for now. I do not know for sure if he's coming with anything else, but as all as that's all for what we know right now. Unless there's somebody out there who does their research and probably knows what he's coming with, but yeah, he will be in the same set, and he only comes with a shirt. And if you want to include the elbow pads, you can, but yeah. Um, of course he comes with the elbow pads, you can't just say, nah, I don't want the elbow pads on it, but, you know, it, well, you know what I mean, but, yeah, so, a lot of people requested this figure on, in, on ringside, for ringside, because that's what they said, I guess, and, yeah, so now, everybody's gonna be getting one, and I hope I can someday purchase that, but, yeah, um, so that's, um, that's, 
Uh, and you saw some other figure. Hold on, let me go look real quick. Okay, guys, we we saw uh Brutus the Barber Beefcake uh figure, or uh, you saw Brutus the Barber Beefcake, which you some of you little kids don't know. I don't really know him. I just heard a lot about him, and I know he carries a big pl um a big pair of scissors or something like that that you cut bushes with. And yeah, um, I know him just because of that, and a scene that he was in with Shawn Michaels. But um, yeah, and he's a flashback figure, by the way. He's not currently in the WWE. He was like a WWF wrestler, but he was around when the WWE was, I think. I don't know my history as much as a lot of you uh, teenager WWE fans know. But yeah, he will be a flashback. I probably won't be picking up figures like that because I do not really care about the flashback figures. No offense to them, Legends. I really, really respect them, but I just don't like... I don't really, really care about the figures. But I know a lot of you other fans do, and you, some of you guys don't, and just sell them on eBay, but you know what? Whatever. You guys spend your money your way. But yeah, let's talk about Elite 60 now. Guys, I want to actually show you an image real quick. Okay, guys, you guys just got to see um, what uh, Elite 60, I think, I think is what I said. I think I said Elite 60. What I meant is Elite 50. Sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to say Elite 60 if I did say that. But yeah, Elite 50, you just saw. And as you know, we don't have any images of any of the figures besides the Stephanie, Mi the Stephanie McMahon. Sorry, I just said something else. Um, yeah, so uh, let me show you that image real quick. And yeah, so... Let me show you. Here is the here is the image of the figure, although it's not like it's a work in progress, as you see right here on the little paper that they put in front. But the the one accessory that I know on there's the image again, but the one accessory, the two actual accessories I know right now is this Triple H skull mask thing and her jacket, which I think might be an accessory or it'll be either. I I'm pretty sure I guarantee I highly guarantee that it's um. It's removable, because what kind of jacket wouldn't be removable? But, yeah, uh, it might be removable, it might not, it might be just stuck on there, but whatever. Uh, it might be hard to take off, as you can see, the sleeves look kind of hard and plastic, so that might be kind of uh, really a problem for a lot of you fan collectors, but you know what? Whatever, we're getting a good figure, a WrestleMania 32, and this is obviously based on a WrestleMania 32 outfit. So, yeah, um... I can't wait for this figure, really, eh? I mean, not that I'm probably going to be first. I'm probably not going to be buying this figure, but a lot of you guys might. But obviously, this is not her full scale, as you see on the little tag down there that it, they put down there. But yeah. So, um, yeah, hold on. Let me go look if I have anything else to talk about. Alright guys, I think that is it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like. Um, uh, I will be doing more of these episodes, so stay tuned for that, but I hope you guys don't think the name is cringy, because it's not really... I mean, it makes sense. We're talking about figures that are on the way, so yeah. Um, but I'll see you guys later, and goodbye. Now let's cut to that app. <laughs> Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love